All right, let's solve this equation for x between 0 and 360. Now, as with other uh, equations you've looked at, you'd like to get everything in terms of one trig function, either in this case cosine x or sine x. And uh, there's not a real easy way to do that other than by um, squaring both sides and introducing a trig identity. Um, okay, before I square both sides, I'm going to go ahead and, and isolate the trig functions from each other by adding the cosine of x to both sides. So I'll get 2 sine x equals cosine x plus 1 if I add the cosine x to both sides. And then the idea is to square both sides. So I'm going to square the left hand side. I'm going to square the right hand side. If I square the left hand side, remember I have to square the 2 and the sine x, so I get 4 sine squared x. If I square the right hand side, I've got to multiply out cosine x plus 1, the quantity cosine x plus 1, times the quantity cosine x plus 1, times itself in other words. And we have a formula for that. a plus b quantity squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if you apply that formula, you get cosine squared x plus, okay, cosine x times 1 doubled, so plus 2 cosine x. And then plus 1 squared, which is just 1. Okay, so now we've got an equation we can work with because I can just replace sine squared x with 1 minus cosine squared x. And you've got yourself a quadratic equation with the unknown being the cosine of x. Okay, well let's multiply out the 4, get 4 minus 4 cosine squared x equals cosine squared x plus 2 cosine x plus 1. Now, as with any quadratic equation like this, um, you're going to set it equal to 0. Hopefully it'll factor, but if not, we can use the quadratic formula on it. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and add 4 cosine squared to both sides. And so I'll add 4 cosine squared x to both sides. And I'll subtract 4. So that if I do this, I'll have a 0 on the left hand side and a 5 cosine squared x plus 2 cosine x minus 3 on the left hand side. Okay, I'm going to try and factor this. Hopefully it'll factor. Um, write down two parentheses. I know the first two terms, or the first terms that we multiply out, I should say, have to be 5 cosine x and cosine x. And then if it actually does factor, uh, disregarding the sign for right now, I'm either going to have a 1 and a 3, and a 3 and a 1. Well, I don't want to have a 3 here because when I multiply out the outer terms, that would give me a 15 cosine x. So I'm going to try a 3 and a 1. And then notice, uh, if I were to multiply the outer terms, disregarding sign for a moment, I would have 5 cosine x. The inner terms, 3 cosine x. If I, if I make the right uh, uh, if I put the minus in the right place, let me put it that way, if I put the minus in the right place, I can get a 2 cosine x. I can get those to combine to be 2 cosine x. So here's what I mean. If I make this a plus and this a minus, when I multiply out the outer terms, I'll get a 5 cosine x. When I multiply out the inner terms, I'll get minus 3 cosine x. Those do combine together to make uh, 2 cosine x as, as needed. Okay, so let me scroll down a little bit. We have the right factorization. Let's go ahead and set both factors equal to 0. So, okay, if we do that, I'll get 5 cosine x minus 3 equals 0, or cosine x 
equals negative 1. Okay, this second one is really easy to solve because negative 1 is one of those special numbers. Between 0 and 360, the angle whose cosine is negative 1 is just 180 degrees. So that one was easy. This one, not as much. Uh, let's add 3 to both sides, divide by 5. We'll get the cosine of x is equal to 3 fifths. And we have to take the cosine inverse of both sides. If you take the cosine inverse of both sides, uh, you'll get an angle in the first quadrant, the cosine inverse of 3 fifths. If we round, it's, it's approximately equal to uh, 53.1 degrees. But then you're thinking, hey, there's another quadrant in which the cosine is positive, and that's the fourth quadrant. So to get the angle in the fourth quadrant, whose uh, reference angle uh, is 53.1 degrees, go ahead and take 360 minus 53.1. You'll get 306.9. The problem here is, okay, if you go if you go back up, we ended up squaring both sides of the adjusted equation. And sometimes when that ha when you do that, you introduce extraneous solutions. And it turns out if you try to plug in uh, the 306.9 degree number into the original equation, just using your calculator, uh, you'll get no solution. Uh, well, actually, you'll get an untrue statement, which means 306.9 degrees is not a solution. So the two ones that work, well, you have the approximate solution of x is 53.1 degrees, and uh, or I should say x is 180 degrees. Those are the two solutions that work.